everybody. Today is Roast with Garrett Day. So today we're going to do a lovely pot roast, slow roast, top side of beef. Come on in, have a look at this. Beautiful piece of beef that Ronan, who and his boyfriend, sold us this morning. So that's the top roast of beef. The ingredients you're going to need is some salt, some pepper, oil, killer ingredients, McCarroll's pale ale but beer, flour, potatoes which we're going to roast, Four onions chopped up into quarters, parrots and parsnip, parsnip, carrots and parsnips, I think that's what they're called, uh, beef stock and rosemary and chopped garlic. Yeah, so that's everything. So, first and foremost, come on over to me, we're going to start this oven thing going here. Get a big pot, get your oil. Put in a chunk of oil, see what happens. Let that do its thing. Forgot to do this to the beef. Get your salt. Throw it onto the beef. Get it all in there. Chop it all nice and bashed into the salt. Flip it over. Whoop! More salty here, more salty there. More salt there, more salt there. And then make sure to wash your hands like this very quickly. I'm sure, it doesn't feel very round, but that's okay. And then the pepper, got some like the pepper on it. You leave the beef out for half an hour before you do all this from the fridge, so it's at room temperature. It's essential. Pepper, 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 pepper. pepper. That's good. You bring the beef over. Come on over. Try not to drop it. It's getting there. What else do I need? So we're just going to sear this now. Brown it on all sides. I'm hoping that's hot enough. But this might splash. Make sure it doesn't splash in your face. That wouldn't be good. You get burnt. So let's see what happens. Let's try this this way. I put a bit more pepper on that end. Remember, this is a slow cook roast. We're doing the good old pot. Beautiful. So you just put that in there, twist it around, turn it around. Couple of minutes, get it brown on all sides. Champions. <laughs> so just do this, turn around. Make sure it doesn't stick. This is exactly what's going on here. Yeah, uh, you just leave it. What? Oh, just leave it? Okay. Sorry, my assistant said just leave it there. Okay. So I'm going to leave it until it's nice and crispy on that side. So how's it going? Okay. You can have it in a minute, yeah. But that's okay, I don't mind. Well, I can't. Mm -hmm. The top side of beef is now beautifully crisp on the outside, just seared for a couple of minutes. Pan is still hot, so we're now going to deglaze this. Chopped garlic, I'd put it about eight cloves, eight whatever those guys are called. A little bit of uh, start off with this beef stock thing. Lots of smoke, probably too high the heat there to turn that down. I'm pretty sure that's what tea glazing is. A little bit more of the stock. That will take all the nice taste of the beef juices in there. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to put this guy back into the pot now. On top of all that lovely deglazed stuff. Drop it in. Then you just fill up the sides. 
bit more of this seaweed, this is beef stock. I might have to make more of that actually. Or I could use some of that wine. I'm using this beer, don't know if it's going to be any good. So my cards, if you want to sponsor me, no problem. <laughs> Probably enough, do you think? Mm -hmm. Liquid, do you think I might need more liquid? Mm -hmm. I think I might need more liquid. Just a little bit more. So, I've got a bit of stock left over here in the bottom of this. I'm going to use it. Still think I need more. It should be up to... About half of it, Jim. Yeah. So I didn't have enough beef stock there, so I'm just topping it up with some water. But I had lots of cubes in it, so. The trick is don't go over the beef with the liquid. If you go over the beef, it's not good. I've got some coffee there, may I put that in? You never know. Okay, so you put that there, that's enough. You bring that water to the boil. So you get yourself the lids, the lid is here. Rosemary. Rosemary and onions. Woo! So the onions, chop them in quarters, nice and thick. Just pop them all around the outside. Give it a good earthy, tasty feel. This dish is perfect for today's day. Rainy, miserable Irish. Sunday, Winter's Day. Anyway, chow chow all that in, it's taking too long. My rosemary, which you have in our garden, which is great. Just top it up, throw it in. And there we go, and there we go, and there we go. Sprigs here, sprigs there, sprigs everywhere. Put the lid over, we're gonna bring that to the boil and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so this looks like it's bringing to the boil. So come on over here, have a look. Perfect, so you bring all that to the boil. Turn it down. I'm now going to move it to a lower heat. That's the wrong one. Come on, dude. Yep, there we go. So I'm going to bring that to there. Turn that guy off. We're going to simmer that now. So I'm going to, that's going to simmer. So I'm going to put the lid back on. I'm going to leave that alone for two hours. So I'll set my little phone here. Phone here. Hold on a second. Now this clock. It's timer. We're going to do two hours, and then two hours time, that's set. We're then going to come back in two hours time and we're going to add these uh, vegetables to it. So that's it for them. Leave that simmer for two hours. Go for a nice run if it's a Sunday, whatever it is. Do your run, come back, have a shower, put it all on. Two hours, during that two hours, you can go for a little run. Step out and get a Sunday paper. Open up your nice red wine. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Mm. Have that nice and breathing. It's two hours, put your, Today was on the boil now, that's on, yes that's on. So now I'm going to add the vegetables to my uh, spirit spot roast. Have a look in here now, just check how it's going. Oh that's lovely. During the two hours we turned it over as well. So, so now I'm just going to do is I'm just going to add these in here. Carrots, parsnips, grown in the garden. No they're not, only joking. Anyway, so throw those in. Ow. And that's pretty much it then. So you leave that like that with the lid on it. And that's going to simmer for one hour. So we're good. I'm going to have a shower. I'll come back and see you in an hour's time. Okay, so we've parboiled the potatoes and drained them off. I'm going to get them goody and air so they're nice and fluffy. We then pour them into this little plastic bowl here. We then have some corn flour, flour, salt and pepper. You can see that. So we're going to kind of... Put this all over these potatoes. This will give them a nice, rustic, crispy, tasty texture. So we get that all fluffy up there. Don't we think that's enough yeah. now? So that's good, so we're happy with that. So we'll keep going like that. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna now gonna take out, we've got some oil in the oven here now, which should be nice and piping hot. Be careful when you're taking it out. You don't wanna drop it and not burn your little toes. And then you get the potatoes in the nice flour mix and drop them onto the oil, but be careful, don't burn yourself. 
And like a great chef once said to me, you don't sell the sausage, you sell the sizzle. <laughs> <laughs> but this isn't sizzling very good, but it's going good, yes. So we got a good sizzle here. So just drip them in, drop them in. Okay, there's the sizzle, woo! That's hot, that's very hot. So hopefully I have enough room here. Mightn't have, but that's okay. Yeah, fine. I'll be figured out, okay. My assistant says I'm okay here, so that's good. Nice and flowery. Nice, it's gonna be crispy when these are finished. So they're parboiled potatoes, dried, flour. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, I'm gonna just get a little bit of the, try and get some of this oil on top, which didn't really happen, but that's okay. Don't know how I'm gonna do it, but anyway, you're trying to get cover some of the oil on it. Yeah, I got you, I got you. So I'm gonna just cover it up, mix them all around. Do a little shaky, shaky. You should have got major though. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> my assistant isn't happy. <laughs> I'm making this video and she wanted to get in. And I said, no, <laughs> you can do the next one. So this is all about the sizzle. Remember, the base. you sell the sizzle, not the sausage. Anyway, that's it. So I'm gonna throw this back in the oven. It's at 200 degrees. It's gonna be roughly an hour to get them to roast. And that's it. Okay, See you in a few minutes. So it's an hour later. We've taken the top side of the vegetables out and put them in a tray over here. I'll show you that in a second. We then left with this beautiful liquid. So drain some of that liquid through this guy, strained it into this little pot here. So that's now brought to the boil. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. And we're gonna use this as the gravy for the beef. So, I've got corn flour here, which, I'm going to, which I've added with a little bit of water. This is gonna to use to thicken this. So put the whole lot in, a little bit of corn flour, a little bit of water, and then we're gonna stir this. I might bring it back up to the heat a little bit. So this will be the gravy for the, for, the, for the top side. I just wanna show you how it looks here. So I put it into this tray. So that's the vegetables and the, and the top side. Looks beautiful, very, very tender. Yeah, so we are, when I make this gravy, I'm gonna plate it up and I'll talk to you again. So, now it's the fun time we can eat. Just want you to take a look at this. So that's the beef carved, absolutely fall off the bone. So tender, it's beautiful. There's the vegetables. Follow me, see it all plated up. Don't forget the red wine. Look at those roasties. How tasty is that? They came out fantastic. Plated. Ready to go. Mm. All finished. Let me do a cheers. Hold on. Well done. Happy Sunday lunch. Cheers. Bon appetit. Bye.